figures from the St. Louis Metro Pandemic Task Force reveal a record high number of confirmed and suspected COVID-19 patients in area hospitals. It just continues. And this comes as we wait for a potential surge that's been predicted following Thanksgiving. The Power of Two's Chris Renier is live in the Central West End this morning detailing the newest numbers. Chris. Randy John, we are just outside the ER here at Barnes Jewish Hospital. We're told ICUs across task force hospitals like this one are at 88% capacity this morning. And the task force commander, Dr. Alice Garza, saying hospitals and ICUs could be at capacity in just about one week if this current pace continues. The seven-day moving average of hospitalizations has set another record, jumping to 900. And 14 yesterday. The number of confirmed COVID positive patients hospitalized also hitting another record high of 961. And there are also 96 suspected COVID 19 patients in hospitals. That brings the total amount of COVID 19 patients in task force hospitals to 1,057. That is the highest number to date as well. New hospital admissions did drop a bit, though, to 108 yesterday. The seven-day moving average of hospital admissions staying steady at 116. Confirmed COVID patients in ICUs also unchanged, staying at 202. COVID positive patients on ventilators dropping from 127 to 123. Dr. Garza speaking with Fox 2 last night about trying to care for the record high number of COVID patients. Now we're going to be looking on how we can increase even more capacity. So whether that is, you know, converting different parts of the hospital to our intensive care unit, cutting down on the other services that we provide, pulling resources from our ambulatory or outpatient care to do inpatient work, anything that we can do to create more space and more staff uh, to take care of these patients. Uh. Here is some good news for you though. 108 more COVID patients were discharged yesterday from area hospitals. For now live in the Central West End, I'm Chris Vernier.